Hey guys, what's up? Ling Ling is back with another video and today I am wearing my Chi Pao again because it's Chinese New Year. It's Chinese New Year. Woo! <laughs> um, we are now in the Rusa year. <laughs> and uh, because we just jumped into the new Rusa year, the new year here in China, the Chinese New Year, whatever you want to call it, Spring Festival is also a name. Um, I thought that it was about time to make a video about the 10 Chinese, the 10, uh, the 10 things you should know about Chinese New Year because it's fun and interesting and it's super cold here. I hope you can't see it, but I can see my own breath. No, you can't see that on camera. That's good. I look a little icy as well. Ice cream. Anyways. So, the first thing you should know about Chinese New Year is that it is all about family. Yes, the Chinese people, they are going home to spend a lot of time with their families for as long as they can. This leads to the second thing, because for people to go, to be able to go home, they have to take public transport, right? Uh, well, if they don't drive themselves, of course. But anyways, <laughs> um, Chinese New Year, the time of Chinese New Year, here is a travel nightmare it's an annual travel nightmare it's insane like millions and millions of people they go home and a lot of them they take the trains because they're cheap and they sit in the train for hours and hours and hours and I even read uh, news saying that more uh, like what's it called um, adult diapers are sold during these times and it might be because people cannot get to the bathroom in the train and that is true like I have tried it it's sometimes impossible because the trains um, are full of people and a lot of those people they buy tickets without seats those are like the cheapest ones so they bring their own little thing they can sit on in the middle of the aisle so you basically have to climb people to get to the bathroom and sometimes people are even sitting like in the bathroom <laughs> it's insane so yeah they sell more adult diapers here during that time then we have the third thing uh, the third thing is that red is to be seen everywhere you can actually see it in this room too like red is the lucky color of China uh, and Chinese people so during the Chinese New Year of course it's red yes uh, a lot of Chinese people they like to um, maybe not cut it themselves but they buy paper cuts so they can put it around their men uh, like the main gate and like windows and it's all about like happiness and great fortune uh, wealth um, yeah you can see that if you have wondered if you've seen it if you've been in China or if you wonder <laughs> You probably don't if you haven't been here. Anyways, the <laughs> shut up. Ah, uh, I write a manuscript, but do I follow it? No. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm gonna show you a picture here. This is how it looks like. Looks uh, like with the paper cuts around the door. And also there is the famous Hong Bao, uh, the red envelope, which is like a small envelope. I'm gonna show you a picture here. I of course forgot to bring it. Um, yeah, and uh, in that envelope, uh, relatives, family and friends, they give these red envelopes to each other and it contains money. Actually, I saw on WeChat one girl, she had cut open the envelope. So basically she cut all the bills inside. Yeah. I'm not sure that's a good idea. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so in China the lucky number is eight because ba and fa sound similar and fa tai is like wealth or like become uh, more wealthy. Um, so ba 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 ba. It's very important to have uh, this lucky number in your hongbao. Number four, fact number four is that there are 12 animals um, in the Chinese zodiac, 12 animals and uh, every year is a, another animal, one of those 12. So we just said goodbye to the monkey here. I'm a monkey uh, um, and said hello to the rooster so this year is the rooster year fact number five it's uh, a very complicated to figure out uh, when is the date or of the annual Chinese New Year 
Well, you can Google it, <laughs> or buy do it if you're in China. Um, yeah, but basically the date changes every single year. <clears throat> I don't really know why. You should probably look that up, but please let me know in the comments below. I didn't check that. <laughs> but um, every year it changes. I remember two years ago, the Chinese New Year was on February 17, I think, or 18. And um, this year it's on January 27. Like, why? <laughs> a lot of Chinese people actually don't know either before like a month in advance, like two months before when they, you know, decide that they have to buy a ticket to go home. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Fact number six is that, as I said in the introduction as well, the Chinese New Year is also called the Spring Festival. This is because... Da, 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 da. It is because it is the start of spring! Surprise! <laughs> According to the traditional, the Chinese, tra the traditional Chinese uh, solar system. Fact number seven is that Chinese New Year is not only celebrated in China. This probably doesn't come as a surprise to you because there are Chinese people literally everywhere you go. <laughs> um, like if you are in London or the area around London, uh, a lot of people go to Chinatown to celebrate uh, Chinese New Year. I don't know if it's going to be on the 27th or 28th or before or after, I'm not sure. But like um, last year, thousands of people went there to celebrate. So it's almost no matter where you go, Taiwan, Hong Kong, of course, of course, Chinese people as well also celebrate the Chinese New Year. Fact number eight is that it is also the world's biggest annual fireworks usage. This also might not come as a surprise for you because Chinese people love fireworks and firecrackers. Oh my god, the firecrackers. <laughs> Once I tried to study Chinese during Chinese New Year, don't go there. Just just don't go there. It's um, mm, it's my fan. Don't go there. It's very noisy and uh, it's like boom, 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 boom all the time. Yes, but they do this uh, they play around lit up fireworks and firecrackers because they believe that they can scare away the bad demons and ghosts and evil spirits from the year before. Fact number nine. It is a family holiday and Chinese parents, they expect their children to come back home and visit. And uh, they expect them to stay for a while and visit relatives everywhere every single day and eat and eat and eat and watch TV and uh, enjoy the time together. But a lot of... Um, young modern Chinese people who uh, grew up with a more urban lifestyle and like more zio freedom you know they uh, go traveling instead of or they don't really want to go back but they kind of feel they have to and I'm not I'm not saying everyone's like that and maybe you're different I don't know I'm just saying that that's my personal experience like when I talk to Chinese people and what I read online that because of the big generation gap between <clears throat> grandparents parents and Chinese uh, young people now their children it's uh it it can be a problem for them uh, like it makes them depressed to go back home because parents ask, oh, how's your work going? Did you get married already? Or like, did you have a find a boyfriend? Or I think you're getting a little bit fat and yeah, all these things. So I kind of get it. If my mom and dad would pick, me, pick on me like that uh, during a whole holiday, I probably wouldn't go back either. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of people travel as well instead of celebrating Chinese New Year. I think it's a little bit like, you know, abroad with Christmas in my country anyways. I know that some people just don't like to celebrate Christmas like it's too much math and like you know they're just not that crazy about the tradition so instead of doing that they just decide to go and travel with their family or friends or whoever they like so yeah that's fact number nine and fact number ten you have to learn to say Xinian Kuai Le Happy New Year or Happy Chinese New Year say that learn it learn it learn it and go and meet your Chinese friends and thank you guys for watching this video please let me know in the comments below how you celebrate Chinese New Year and uh, by the way guys I chose the guys for I chose the postcard people why would you say that I chose who to send my postcards to. Um, but because of Chinese New Year, it's gonna take a while. It usually takes a month to send, um, to forward to the rest of the world. But then with Chinese New Year, I assume it's gonna take even longer. So please don't wait for it 
tomorrow or the day after. Just be patient and uh, it will arrive. I have contacted you guys already, so you know who you are and thank you for participating. Thank you for commenting on my videos. I love all of you guys. Uh, I hope you're having a great day, evening, wherever you are in the world. And Ling Ling is out. See ya and Bye-bye.